Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and I am continuing on with my pink series. I've already laid my base paint down. Um, a friend of mine had asked for pink and black, so I decided to do a few different trying to do a few different pink techniques. <laughs> um, just to give my friend a couple of different um, ideas and as to what they want. So, this is a 9 by 12 canvas. I have laid my black artist loft acrylic flow paint down already and the colors I will be using is the Soho Rose Matter, the Creative Inspirations <laughs> Quinacridone Rose, that'll be the only time I'll be able to say that, Artist Loft Black, Lucas Krill Rose, okay, focus, there you go, and Folk Art Metallic Rose Shimmer. See how that goes. The other two came out pretty. Um, this person also liked glitter, so I showered them with some glitter. My cup I'm using is a little free ounce, and I have sprayed it with the WD-40 silicone spray. I spray my cup with that because it helps release the paint. So, I have something in my paint. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to do a, I guess it's called a ribbon pour. Not over the whole thing. I want some negative space. So I'm just going to start putting some paint in here. I know I'm not going to need a ton. I haven't painted in quite a while, so my paints have been sitting. So that was the Soho Rose Matter. That's the... Quinacra Dome Rose. See, I told you I wouldn't be able to say it. This is the black. And I have two poke holes. This is the Lucas Krill Rose. And the metallic rose shimmer. That's by Folk Art. So I know on one of the paintings it came out really light. And on the other one, um, and I didn't really like that because there was no, yeah, there wasn't. All right, so this is all I'm going to do, which is probably uh, maybe two ounces. So I'm not really needing a lot, so I'm just going to maybe
Get some water bubbles out. Tilt it a little bit. Oh, I'm going to try airbrushing, see if that helps. You can already see I've got little, I think they're called dendrites, which means, and I'll show you up close, which means that my base paint is a little thin. Still cool though. <laughs>
Guys see on those are gonna be pretty cool. I just hope that they don't overgrow like I've had them do on previous paintings. I do have some cells over here. Some cells over here. I don't I don't want to mess with it anymore. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. So let me it up and then I will bring you in for the close up. What do you guys think? That was cool. It's cool. Without dropping it. Okay. There you go. Done. Done. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again. Hit that like button. Subscribe, please. Share my videos. Click that little bell there on the side and you will get notified of my next video. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.